it, it's a fairly new nonprofit organization. Right now, its uh, its mission is to help women of the Ditlan Valley get out of poverty, and at the same time, educate travelers around the world about the power of microfinance. What it does is that it lends money to the women of the Ditlan Valley at zero percent interest rate, where the average interest rate in this country is 70%. And what we do is that we provide free test rate loans for these micro-enterprises and a way to educate them towards how to use a credit. No? Many of these women, they don't even know how to write or read. Uh, although others, they are, are, are more educated. They got up to probably sixth grade or, or secondary school. But, but they don't know how to manage alone. So what we do is that these are free to learn to educate the women towards microfinance. <laughs> One of the sources of the point that we have for these loans are, are through tourism. No? And, the, and, the, and tourists give, pay for a tour, which is what they get. And they get an insight of the community and the culture and how people live. <laughs> People in Standard have learned to adopt uh, new ideas that come from outsiders, and they are very, very proud of their culture, and they always like to show what they do, or how, how the people live there. No? We currently have two tours a week to Jatitan del Valle, and we teach uh, tourists about about the town and about the women that are part of the program. Yo soy Dominga. Para servirles, están ustedes en su casa. <laughs> the learning curve is, is uh, at first is very fast because you learn many things inside. But when after a while, after we obtain the people, they realize how much, how the power, the impact that they have. No, because in two or three years, you can you can say that you can change a life. No, I wouldn't say that just with one tool you will change a life. But one tool is just one step towards a life changing process. That it's always the the, the, the women's the women's uh, uh, effort to do that. No? Okay, you're good. <laughs> Yo empecé haciendo tortillas, porque era lo que hacía, pero poquito. Sí. Y para poder entregar más, necesitaba más dinero para comprar mis materiales. Compré mis maíces, las leñas, todo para hacer la tortilla sí. y venderlas. Ten, como yo coso, pero tenía una máquina descompuesta Ajá. y no la podía componer. Y ya este, con la ganancia que tuve con ese dinero de, de hacer tortillas, mandé a componer mi máquina. I would love that it grows worldwide, no, but it, it's very ambitious and, and I rather think that the, the more we have the, the contact with the people that we're working and we create a, a sound organization who focuses in the whole family so that the, the, the children of the families get to, to college. No? In the future, probably in five years, six years, we already have started to identify the children who are potential candidates to do, to do this. We can give a micro loans for the, for the children. No? Si tu no me quieres ya, el amor que ya pasa no se ve. Sí, me han ayudado bastante, como yo tengo mis dos niñas, tengo que mantenerlas para lo de la escuela, ellas van a la escuela, tengo que comprar sus útiles y todo. Sí, yo no estudié, nomás terminé la primaria, porque con los, los papás, mis abuelos dijeron, no, antes aquí no se estudiaban las mujeres, pues dicen, no, y no va a ir a la escuela, entonces ahora con mi hija tampoco tenía en mente que ella fuera a la secundaria, porque es, es mucho gasto y no iba yo a poder. Pues. Pero ahora gracias al proyecto, gracias a la ayuda que ustedes están haciendo, la pude meter ahora, está cruzando, cruzando el primer año. Yo me llamo Rosalía Ruiz González. Sí, mi nombre es Lucila Lázaro Bautista. Con qué tristeza miramos.
Un amor que se nos va. Va avanzando mucho más las personas. Qué, qué bueno. Que se arranca sin piedad.